Hello everyone, my name is Bethany Cagnol and I am an English teacher here at Telecom Paris for the Languages and Cultures Department. In this video, we will be discussing how to write a statement of purpose. I will be helping you with specific advice on the content. So let's get started. I'll first be going over a short review of the requirements of a statement of purpose. What is it? What does it involve? And then I'll be giving you some specific advice that I've collected from various institutions such as Columbia University as well as the University of Oregon. And then I'll be giving you some advice on how to responsibly use certain tools that may be at your disposal. And then finally I'll be finishing this video with some pro tips. So typically a statement of purpose is about 500 to 1,000 words, and you should definitely keep it within that limit. Do not go over. Most often, students are required to write this statement of purpose around the months of November and December. And in this text, you are expected to explain why you want to apply for that specific program and what you can offer to the institution that you are applying for. You also need to describe your academic, professional, and your research goals. Your future goals are also important and how they are linked with the program that you're applying for. In short, the best uh, description that I have been able to find for the statement of purpose is as follows. The statement of purpose shows your experience, your interests, and goals in the field. These should, in turn, make clear your fit for the department. You'll also want to clearly articulate your motivation for pursuing an advanced degree and how it will influence your career path. The Columbia University Center for Career Education also advises students to explain why they've chosen this graduate school, why this specific program, and why now. The University of Oregon also offered some excellent advice. When writing cover letters for job interviews, we felt was extremely relevant even for writing statements of purpose. And that is to focus on you, you the institution, me, the candidate, and we. But let's go over some tips that I have collected for you in this video that I would like to bring you to your, to your attention. And the first thing that I would like to address, in fact, is perhaps the temptation to use certain digital tools to write your statement of purpose. You may have certain translation or writing tools at your disposal and even I myself took one for a spin. Here is an example of an artificial intelligence written text for a statement of purpose for a master's program uh, in a digital technology environment. And as you may see that this text, which was written fully by artificial intelligence uh, algorithms, is correct by English standards. However, there's a big problem with this text. It's very generic. It's very bland. And there are absolutely no specifics. And so I want to encourage you to avoid making this big mistake that a lot of applicants make, thinking that they can just simply use digital technology to write their statement of purpose. Not so. You will be different, and here's why. Here's some pro tips. Sell yourself and your current school. Tell a unique story. Be proud of the institution that you're coming from. And be proud of what you've accomplished. Have an overarching theme. How will the degree and your future career make a positive impact. 
Be sure that you individualize each and every statement of purpose that you write. Show your enthusiasm for taking specific courses, do your research, look into the uh, institution that you want to apply for, look up the professors that you may want to uh, take courses from or that you may want to work with, and also mention the meeting the local experts. Also, how do you think you could possibly contribute to the institution's outreach initiatives in terms of they may have a humanitarian uh, outreach program or they may have student associations that you are very, very interested in joining and how do you see yourself contributing to those uh, student associations on campus. So this concludes my video on content. I hope my advice has been helpful and we really look forward to helping you with your statement of purpose in the future. You got this.